other samples also with the same technique look how beautiful that is look at the little bird I think on these we'll put a bird on here so much depth, so much dimension here are some stickers with flowers very similar to the technique that we did the other day with the slider foils beautiful these are stickers that look like real flowers they're so stunning So let's get our tapered stiletto, extreme tapered stiletto, and apply the phalanges. And we're going to be using BB Ombre Halloween set, you guys. There are less than 200 of the Halloween sets worldwide. Because it's super limited edition. Yo. Yes, we do. That's the uh, spider gel. If you guys want a real, like, legit Russian stiletto looking nail, not a pistachio shell, Extreme Tapered Stiletto is your girl. She is going to make sure she cuts someone because she is snatched. Let us apply DIY gel in the Costco size for the children, for the fantasy. And I need to fix my nails because they are looking terrible. Press down firmly, make sure there's no bubbles. Remove any excess we might have. Oh, that's the song we were asking about the other day. Who sings it? Have you guys taken advantage of the new DIY gel in this larger size? So incredible. And the pink one is available in the 15 ml. Look at that, beautiful. Fast and easy. Let's bake that for one minute inside the Dazzling Darling Lamp. Let me check out the comments. Amanda was out picking up dinner and missed the Instagram live, but she's here. Seriously, would Facebook would stop notifying me so late? Better late than pregnant. Hola, I just want to pick up some 3D DIY. Oh, some 3 DIY gel. Oh, you're going to love it. And we're going to show you guys both techniques on the... 3D effect with velvet. We're going to do one encapsulated with um, clear press-on gel today, and we're also going to do one without the press-on gel to give it more of a textured finish, okay? So that way you guys have variety and you know both techniques and which one's going to work best given you uh, the circumstance that you need. Okay, she is done baking. I'm going to take a Oh, 240 is okay because it's very little we have to file actually. Do you guys have any plans for the weekend other than visiting enocouture.com for the fantasy? Let us really quickly blend in that cuticle.
We're using the power top bit to blend in. So easy, you guys. Literally, it takes longer to do the design than it does the nails, because the nails are just perfect. Out of the bag, literally. So for these two, I'm going to focus the design more heavy towards the nail bed, because the free edge is so small and sharp that I don't want to oversaturate it or have any part of the free edge uh, sticking out of the sticker. Have any of you guys gone to go see Shang-Chi yet? Is that what it's called? Are you going to go see that, Ignacio? Why not? Don't you like those kinds of movies? Or a knockoff website? Oh. So that guy that plays whatever his name is, Shang-Chi, they ask people in China because a lot of people don't think he's really that good looking, especially for like Chinese standards, because they like more pretty boys than him. And they were showing his picture around to people in China. They're like, what do you guys think of this actor? And they're like, it looks like somebody's dad. He doesn't look like a superhero. <laughs> Mr. Shang-Chi. Hola, hola. No, but I will. My kids saw it and they liked it. I know it's that movie's been making a lot of money. Oh, I'm glad my videos help. I appreciate that. Mayor's gonna be working at the club. Christina has to get her hands on the Halloween collection. Mary said, are we live now? We are live. We are in living color. So we're gonna be using these two colors from the Halloween collection, you guys. They are so stunning and so one coat. We're gonna be using DB170, which is like this Wicked Witch of the West Green, and BB172, which is this really pretty chic fall-esque lavender. I'm gonna do this one green. And look at that one coat coverage. She is no joke. She comes through every time. Man, this music is terrible. Somebody had asked me on Instagram if I like the new Abba song, and I was like, actually, to be honest with you, I don't. I think they waited too long. Color, that one coat, she is no joke. Yeah, I think they waited too long to do a comeback. And I mean, of course, with time, their voices change. And I think her voice sounds, oh, it's gonna sound horrible, but she sounds like a little old, old grandma. And the songs just don't feel nostalgic to me. And they were recorded in 2018, so those songs are old already anyway. They, they kind of sound like a B side to an ABBA song. Do you know what I mean? color. Beautiful lavender for the time. So opaque in one coat. This, uh, oh, that's why. Let's pick that for 30 seconds. I was like, oh. Who sounds like a grandma? I missed it. Abba! Jenna's watching, hello! Hi Max, hi! Grisel said hola hola, hola hola! Hello Max, hi my love! She's not gonna be working at the hospital, I mean at the club, she's gonna be working at the hospital. Look at that long coat application, she is no joke. Such beautiful, oh, this green you guys, I'm obsessed. So we're going to do a really thin coat of shiny, just to seal the color. I 
and create kind of like a rubbery texture base so that way we can apply the stickers directly on top. We're going to bake this for 30 seconds inside the dancing dozing lamp. We're going to be using our famous 3D stickers. I love the ship. I haven't done this ship in a really long time. I've missed you. Extreme Tapered Stiletto. Beautiful. Love the green. Bonita combinación. That's a good color for Christmas too. Beautiful. So we're going to go in with some of our 3D stickers. I'm gonna apply a little birdie. Do you guys like the Ghostbusters song? Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Well, I think we'll do the little bird on the pinky. Pack Rat Masters. Really? Look at this one, she's stunning. Who are you gonna call? Pack Rat Masters! Don't be scared to layer the stickers, you guys. We want to create depth and dimension in the nail. I wonder if the new Ghostbusters movie is going to be good because I also feel they waited way too long to make it. The new Ghostbusters. I can uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah, I think they waited too long to make it. I think one of them went piece out, didn't he? Of the original Ghostbusters? Every little bit of sticker counts. I think that's like the second or third one, right? She's in the first one too! That the ghost looks inside her refrigerator? The ghost with the long hair? I don't remember that. And then what's the, the... Oh, I heard that one's terrible. I don't like her, I don't think she's funny. I feel like she plays the same character in every single movie.
Which one? What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like scary, right? What about the kids? You're gonna be like, go to bed. We're gonna do a little birdie in the pinky. Really? It builds character. The Exorcist. So, like, to me, watching horror movies with my kids isn't like. Equals bonding. It's not like a bad thing, you know? You're like, Unless it's like with that one movie, what is it? What was the one where they, like, he stitches them together? Oh, the human centipede. I would never let them watch that, or like those uh, hostile movies, because those are too much. You draw the line. They're too much. Enjoy, children. You're like, I rebuke it in the name. Really? Oh, Annabelle is not very scary, though. The new one? And did you, uh, oblige? You're like, come on, children, let's all watch Chucky together. Really? That is... Well, I mean, I grew up watching scary movies too, though. My mom would say, that's not blood, that's ketchup. Don't be scared. It builds character. And I, I like scary movies. Really? What about if there's like um, adult situations in the movie? Oh, really? I would cover my eyes. I like if we were at the movie theater, I would cover my eyes so that way I would not be exposed to such. Uh... Yes. Mm -hmm. Cover their eyes. And I would ask my mom, I was like, is it over yet? She's like, not yet. Really? Let's make the little birdie like she's behind these little flowers. Maybe these aren't flowers, I don't know what they are. Berries? Seeds? Okay, I think that's good. What do you guys think? Very simple, very discreet, right? Let's see what the children are saying. Let's go. Here they are. I've never seen The Walking Dead. Really? Ghostbusters. Super cheesy. So. Which one? Netflix. I don't remember. Who was in it? Mm -mm. We're going to take press on Joel, and this one's going to be encapsulated to finish, and this one's going to be 3D, okay?
So take clear press on gel and we're going to overlay the entire phalange in a nice even coat, keeping it kind of thin, but we really want to work it in between all those nooks and crannies. The one character that I was petrified as as a child was Freddy Krueger, like I could not even look or hear the name Freddy Krueger without turning ghost white. But that was my brother's fault though too because he traumatized me. But now as an adult I, I think I, I uh... With Catherine Zeta Jones? That would be so cheesy. The ending is terrible too. That was a nice house, though. Wow, the ones that should scare you didn't. Really? Who would have thunk us? Jose Gabino. Does Paul get scared? He doesn't like it when I watch the game and release. Really? But he went to the army. He's a God-fearing man. You're like, I'm scared too, but not in movies. I draw the line. You didn't go with us on to our Christmas, uh, Halloween party? Oh, that's right. You missed out. Oh, the remake is terrible. He sounds really funny too. We're gonna bake that 30 seconds. No, they didn't want Robert Inglewood to do it. Because he did Freddy Krueger like 11 times, he was probably tired of it too. I think it's the same for like Hellraiser too. They're making a new Hellraiser movie. They're shooting it in like Serbia. They're shooting it in Serbia and they're gonna... Pinhead, yeah. It's gonna be a woman now. To make it inclusive, I don't know. They want Hellraiser to be a woman now. So Hellraiser's gonna be a chick. Oh, Leprechaun is with Jennifer Aniston. It's funny. So on this one, we're going to leave it 3D, but I still want to apply some seed, which is our neon glitter, our neon matte glitter, and some 24 karat. So wherever I'm going to apply the glitter, just take a little bit of shiny, okay? A little bit of shiny. No. Is it scary? Is it scary? Really? Is it kind of cheesy or not really? And at the end of it, like if she comes out of like a, a, a like the bottom of the like, and her eyes are red, right? And then you just hear her smile at the end, and that's the movie's over. They do. At the house. Sounds like Hocus Pocus. It summons the spirit into the girl who's already eaten because she's been talking. Mm -hmm. And then like, from there, it's pretty gnarly. It's, I liked it. What's the original one about? I never saw the original one. But it was like from the 70s. I think George Romero uh, directed it, didn't he? I don't know, but it was real crazy. The original one? 
Oh, really? I'm gonna have to see the uh, preview of it. Okay, here we go. Let's bake it. What's the number of the row stickers? Ooh. Do you know what the 3D ones are, the 5D stickers? It'll say on the website, actually, all the ones that are, um... Yeah, no, no, no. The, uh, like these, the butterfly ones and the flowers. Oh, I think this one is, like, number nine. So, yeah, when you use the drop-down menu, you'll see it'll say 3D. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna take it to a whole nother level. See, it looks pretty shiny, but with the velvet, it makes it so much more stunning. So, take velvet, we're gonna do a nice heavy coat over the entire nail. Make sure we work it really well into everything, okay? Have I seen the Conjuring movies? I actually have not. I've seen Annabelle. I saw the one where it was like set like someone's house. Yes. Oh, it is? It wasn't very good. What about the nun? Because isn't the nun supposed to be like, from like medieval times or something? Is the nun evil? So they all are from England then, basically? Let's turn it upside down for a few seconds. I could watch this show with the person you're talking to. With Ignacio. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. She wants to watch some movies with you, Nikki. Yes, it's you guys can do like reviews. But there are some pretty good old scary movies. I'm trying to think of one that's very, very good. I like Italian horror movies. So I like Suspiria. I like Inferno. What's another really good one? There's a Czechoslovakian one called like the Seven, Seven Day Wonder or something like that. I can't remember, but it looks really creepy. It's about vampires. And it was shot in the springtime in Czech Republic. It's like really pretty. It's kind of like fairy tale esque, but still creepy at the same time. But it also, the movie has like a lot of subliminal messages about like becoming a woman, I guess. Huh? Kind of, but with vampires. Mm -hmm. Motel Hell is an old school scary movie. Is it good? Ooh. She is done. Look at that fantasy, you guys. Look how 3D it looks. I'm gonna turn on some hard light for you guys. Oh, I recently saw a scary movie from England too, it was about wolves, it was called In the Company of Wolves, and it was really good actually.
Yes, the original one. It's really good. It's long though. It's a Norman Polanski movie. Do you guys love it? Isn't it stunning? It's so stunning how velvet really changes the 3D look of it. Antonia Cuvino Wilson is here! I'm gonna take the phone off the tripod, you guys. So I can get a better shot of the nails. There we go. Focus camera. That's okay, I'll save it. A Company of Wolves is so good with Angela Lansbury, is her name? It's like a fantasy, dark fantasy, gothic version of Little Red Riding Hood. Look at all the dimension, you guys. I'm obsessed. So beautiful. At this moment, I like the nails with the matte more than I do with the shiny for the fantasy with the velvet. Oh, thank you. She's like, they're so perfect. Get some velvet. There we go. And that's going to be our money shot. Well, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And tomorrow we're going to go live around maybe 1, 1 Arizona time because Miss Aguilar is coming in. She just got back from Hungary because she is getting ready to film the Monsters movie. So that'll be really exciting. And I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. Don't forget to visit enocouture.com for the best American-made now products in the universe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.